a lot of early game bullies. He plays a lot of late game scalers, and he also, for some reason, plays Zillion in that lane. So it's going to be really <laughs> hard to deal with this uh, bot lane coming out of uh, Merc Wolves. But on the other side, Tucker, you saw him in the games against us. He played Ezreal both games and just was very, very safe in lane and just eventually hit that scaling point and let his jungler and his mid laner basically control the map and allow him to get to that huge late game power spike that Ezreal has. So I think early game is going to go to the side of Merc Wolves, but I mean, Tucker was just really good at pulling in pressure. So he should, if he just farms up and stays safe, should be all set. Yeah, absolutely. And with that, we are going to get into champ select. Um, and we're going to get game on game one underway. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Crack some cold ones and let's go. Game on, boys. Game on. Let's go. All right. So right off the rip, we're seeing the Malzar taken away from Mouse Amazing. Uh, Scuttlecrab knows that that is a very scary pick for the man. Aether Fox is probably still uh, still has his tail tucked between his legs after that one. <laughs> uh, definitely not feeling super good. Um, and the Cosmics yeah, we, also... We are also probably likely to ban Malzahar if we uh, meet them in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> and Kha'Zix. <laughs> yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the Kha'Zix look, looked awesome from Hot Soup, so I'm, I'm definitely not surprised to see the ban there. Mm. And then on the other side, we're going to see the Udyr and Sivir taken away. Udyr, I guess, a good comfort pick for Sneezy Boy. Gives him a lot of map pressure. And Sivir, just a really good, safe, uh, late-game AD carry. Yeah, yep. also, by the way, for everyone out there, Sneezy Boy is Gallywix. He just had a name change. That's yep. a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Hey, Gally I mean, maybe he has a lot of allergies. Thought, maybe he's know. just a small Sneezy Boy. I don't Come know. On. I thought Gallywix was just cool. being honest, you know? Yeah. Gallywix yeah. just sounded like cool, like, as like, kind of like a galaxy yeah, that's not or like Galaxy yeah. Remix. I don't know. But uh, also the misfortune taken away from Quas. I feel like that's kind of like a waste of a ban right there. Um, Quas has shown that he can kind of play a lot of stuff and definitely not Misfortune being one of like the strongest ones. Yeah. I mean, Misfortune is just not in the strongest state right now. And maybe you just want to take away that huge Wombo Combo team fight potential that is going to come out of the AoE abilities from Shadow of Old and Timberland. So mm -hmm. who knows? Yep, and we're going to see the Renekton picked up for Toxic Vezin, locking in his comfort pick early on the Croc, and uh, Ezreal picked up on the side of Sentinels, um, as you were talking yep. before, that late game carry that Tucker uh, was in that game two against you guys. Yeah, it, it, it looks like both teams are trying to just, like, grab onto any, like, supreme comfort picks that, that might be contested. Yep, and we're going to see Rek'Sai taken, uh really good uh, right now has a lot of early pressure able to have some really creative gank pass and um yeah oh he's Ever memeing seen? us uh, he's memeing all right meme. i was about to say uh yeah so for everyone that's <laughs> watching and did not know uh silas is banned for this week he is banned in pro play and since we are just as good as lcs uh <laughs> silas is also banned uh yep. so we're gonna see what he actually picks going go for the brom here yep going for, for the mid lane brom for shadow of old Probably uh, support not. Brom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so tell us a little bit the, about the Ash Brom lane. Um, what does that allow them to do, like, especially into this Ezreal Leona? So Brom's really good at soaking up a lot of poke, which is all Ezreal really dishes out. So this Ash is going to be super safe in lane. Plus, with the slows on Ash's Q and the Brom Q, you're going to have a lot of CC potential, and that Brom passive is going to stack up really, really quickly. So, I mean, it's a very strong lane, and if you can land a Brom slow, you can get kills on the Leona or the Ezreal. Plus, the level 6 is just so much engage. It's a ton of gauge. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so I guess from there, I'd really like to see Shadow of Old and Sneezy Boy's pick um, definitely kind of rocking some more damage, because they already have a solid amount of, like, team fight, uh, crowd control. So... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure what Shadow Bolt's going to pop up, pop off with or pop up with. Um, the dude kind of likes to play whatever is uh, feels good on the day. Yeah, he, 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 I'm pretty sure for last season he he had the he had the highest uh, distinct number of champions played because uh, <laughs> he pretty much plays something different like every game. Yeah, I mean he also played a bunch of different positions last season yep. too. Yeah. So. Same as this season. Yeah. Yep. Um, and going back to some of the bands, uh, on the side of Sentinels, they are taking away Poppy and Echo. Uh, Poppy is definitely one of Sneezy Boy's best uh, champions. We've seen a couple times in the Rex League. And 
we know from Colonel Paco how strong Poppy can be in either the top lane or in support, but also in the jungle, it just can be absolutely devastating, especially with uh, champions like Ari being picked up on the side of Mouse Mazing. Yep. I don't know if I like the Ivern pick right here. All right. Oh, yeah. We ain't okay. seen it because we're seeing the sneezy boy to Leah jungle. Whew. It might be Shadow of Old to Leah mid. I don't I know. Mean, it it yeah, doesn't it's... seem strong, but it could okay. be. I mean, oh, I, I would not put it past him. But... We'll find out in 10 seconds. Yeah, I guess so. But I saw Sneezy Boy uh, talking in the State of the League chat, asking what uh, people's thoughts were on Talia Jungle. So Ooh. either he's memeing us, the team's memeing us, or it was just some good foreshadowing. Oh, Galio for uh, for Shadow Bolt. All right, so that is going to be a Talia Jungle. Um, Talia Jungle. So that's like a super high-tempo early game jungler. Um, once you... You, like, you just have so much mobility and map pressure that it just becomes really... If you get ahead, it becomes really difficult to duel her or um, really do anything. However, the execution uh, needed to pull off that is pretty high. It's yep. uh, definitely like a much more complex and skill-intensive jungler as opposed to Rek'Sai, who's very, known for being like very powerful but also very consistent. Yeah, she, she 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 does she does provide a lot of like a lot of like good uh, like zoning potential as well, which is something that you don't often get from junglers. Like especially in the current meta, where a lot of the junglers are like rec side type junglers, where there's just a lot of damage. You know, trying to contest those scuttles really really bad. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, I mean, Talia definitely brings something different. So I'm, I'm excited to see how they're going to use it. And like especially if you have like a really well placed Talia wall in a team fight, that that can be a huge game changer. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm really happy to see Shadow Bolt pick up the Galio. I think that that's going to definitely enable uh, Talia a little bit more. That 2v2 is going to be like really strong, uh, especially catching out uh, some of the people. But uh, something we didn't talk about quickly is the Alawi Renekton matchup. Alawi locked in for Hey Dude 5. Um, Adolna, let's walk me through that one. Yeah, I mean, so Alawi is, is, definitely, is definitely favored in the matchup. Uh, at least from like just a straight up, you know, one v one all game mm -hmm. kind of standpoint. Uh, one of the nice things that Renekton does have going for him is it's a lot easier for him to uh, control waves than it is for Alawi. So 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 the, there's definitely a little bit of gank setup you can do. It's dangerous uh, ganking on Alawi, but if you can set up the situation right, then it, it you can definitely make it work. But I imagine Talia is going to be spending a lot of her time in other lanes, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Th th there's definitely a chance this this lane could go heavily in uh, Hey Dude's favor if 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 uh, Toxic Besant doesn't doesn't respect it enough. Right, and we've seen a lot we picked up a few times in the Rekt League, and it's kind of had like mixed success. Um, it's really good, as you're saying, kind of into those like one on one matchups. But what I want to see is for Hey Dude Five to kind of like use the power that he gets in that one v one to like transition that to the rest of the map and bring it to team fights, which not all Lowies in the league have kind of been able to do. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely tough because like a lot of the ways that top laners traditionally do that is is by like teleporting in, into other lanes and like trying trying to gank that way to, to snowball other lanes. But like Alawi is is very bad at like, like teleporting into another lane with Alawi doesn't accomplish much. Um, it's 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 pretty tough because like the whole thing about Alawi is, is that you need the enemy team to be coming at you. You can't really be like engaging super far ahead with Alawi and like creating picks or anything. That's just like not what she does. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, like there, there's definitely a very specific set of skills that you need to, uh, to lane against Alawi. It's definitely a little different than, than lane against a lot of other stuff. So, I mean, it's possible that, uh, Toxic Besant doesn't have a ton of experience in the matchup, which would make it, uh, it, it, it could be rough if that's the case, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. I mean, it depends. I mean, we've seen Toxic Besant prove time and time again that on uh, Renekton, he definitely feels comfortable and can stack up uh, against some of the better top laners in the league. Yep. So we'll have to see. But this Ari Galio matchup, I feel like Galio probably has the pressure pretty early. Um, but it's nice to see both, uh, as, as we were talking about before, both mid laners have just like an insane amount of kill participation and damage. And I think both these champs kind of enable that kind of play style. So I'd love to see this uh, same kind of roams where he's just kind of shoving in the wave and able to just make moves top lane, make moves bottom, um, or even just 2v2 with uh, Hotsuit 5. Because Hotsuit 5 and Mouse Mazing looked ridiculously good last week. Yep. Yeah. 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 They're, it definitely felt like they were on the same page for, for most of the early game. Yeah. 
All right, we are about to get into game. We are loading up some of the skins and we will be on to the rift shortly. So yep. for all of you watching, uh, Ratty Z has actually updated some of the, uh, the chat things. So you can do hashtag uh, infernal or, hash or hashtag sentinels, hashtag, hashtag whatever you want. You can hashtag it now. You don't have to just exclamation point mark, expl exclamation mark it. I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down a little, just slow it down. It's gonna be a long day uh, otherwise if we, if we <laughs> yeah. don't slow it down. So, uh, yeah, hashtag it. Um, it's a lot more easy to say than uh, exclamation mark exclamation. Yeah, that, that's it. I got it. We're good. All right. And uh, with that, we are going to be getting into the game. Game one of Merc Wolves versus Sentinels. Loading onto the rift right now. One thing I'm actually a little bit concerned about for the side of uh, Merc Wolves is this Galio pickup. I mean, you were talking about the really, really good 2v2 with uh, the Galio and Talia. But the thing with Galio is you normally want somebody that's willing to go in and survive. So like a Jarvan or a Nocturne, somebody who just dives in super far deep. So the Galio can just jump on top of that. If you do that with Talia, if you don't have your Zonius built, you're pretty much just going to die automatically. So Sneezy's Boy is going to have to play these engages super well if they want to pull off that combo. Yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I would imagine that the, that the obvious choice for uh, for Merkwold to be putting that Galio ult on will be Toxic Peasant, I guess. Um, he, he's definitely the only one that, that like actively wants to to get, get down and dirty with the uh, opposing team's back line. Right, but um, I just... I don't think Merc Wolves trust Toxic Vesson to be that initial engage. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I agree. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be tough. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but for like that first like minute, everyone was just dead still. They Everyone walked to one position. And actually, I thought my game was frozen for a second, but <laughs> everyone uh, just kind of sat in a bush and wanted to not give away uh, their position with the Tremor Sense for Rek'Sai. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we are seeing uh, Rek'Sai passing up on top, and Sneezy Boy starting with his red buff. Um, so I'm interested to see if they're going to kind of collide, whether or not Hatsu5 wants to get this early 1v1. Throw another rock. Yeah, I mean, w one thing I do want to point out is that um, uh, Sentinel has actually worded both pixel brushes, so that if if uh, Sneezy Boy does go for either of the Scuttle Crabs, they're, they're going to know about it pretty quick. Yep, definitely a good play uh, from both teams, so... We'll have to see because, yeah, I mean, if Talia gets the jump on you, uh, she can jump, d dish out a ton of damage. But uh, if you get the jump on her, she can pop pretty quick. So in the top lane, Toxic Vezin is actually getting quite a bit of a push on Hey 5. Hits level 2 first and is putting out a good amount of damage down. It's actually keeping up in CS, pushing this entire wave into Hadeo 5, making him miss a couple CS already. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the, the Rek'Sai, I imagine, is going to be pathing up there soon, um, yeah. which which could kind of punish him for that, but but they do know that the Rek'Sai is there because uh, they saw him off the, the Pixel Ward. Yep, and Toxic Vezin did back off, respecting that. But it looks like he's actually going to be going in, greeting for a little bit of CS, and yep. Hatsu 5 is right uh -huh. here. Ooh, oh, nice slice and dice. Oh, I only got through there, and a nice just outside the turret range. But that's gonna be first blood oh. over to Hatsu yep. Five. Not even gonna go down. Nope. But meanwhile, uh, down bot side, we are seeing Sneezy Boy doing a little bit of vertical jungling, pathing right from his red and going, uh, taking the scuttle, then going over to blue buff. So it's gonna be interesting to see whether or not we see Hatsu Five uh, acknowledging this and going for the other blue buff, or if he's gonna find that uh, his other bot side jungle is just completely gone. Yeah, it, 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 it looks like he, he's uh, he's thinking about Gengar mid lane. He's heading back into his own jungle now. Uh, it looks like he is going to be heading towards that side. And yeah, if, if he does go there, he's gonna he's not going to like what he finds. No, he's going to be wasting a ton of time. And while he did get a kill up in the top lane, uh, he's going to he's gonna definitely fall behind this 1v1 to Sneezy Boy. Ooh, look at this. What an engage. That was beautiful right there. The Shadow Vol too. just getting a lot of CC on Mouse Amazing, but Mouse Amazing is able to get away. Sneezy Boy flashing with the Q, able to pick that kill up. Now Hatsu 5 in a bad spot. Shadow Vol picking that one up. What a good turnaround from Shadow Vol. 
Yeah, and that's huge for uh, Sneezy Boy right now. Going 1-0-1 at 4 minutes and taking all of uh, Rek'Sai's jungle. And he's pathing up to topside now, too. Yeah, that, 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 that was actually a big trade that Toxic Besant just got on uh, Hey Dude right before uh, Sneezy Boy gets here. Yep, and we're going to see a flash burn by Hey Dude 5, respecting, uh, respecting Sneezy Boy. Got some tentacles to dodge now. It, it, it looks like Mouse Mazing is uh, rotating up to top lane, too. Yep, trying to make his presence known at level 4, going for the roam. But, uh... Oh, oh Toxic Besant! Getting the kill. And Mouse Mazing doing a little bit of cleanup there. But Toxic Besson looking good on the Renekton pick. In the yeah. bot lane, though, Hatsu 5's going for a gank. He blows summoners from Timberland and Quaz, but unable to get anything else out of it. Yep, and we have uh, Hatsu 5's coming around again. Still level 3, oh, though. Again. Oh. oh, now he's just in a bad spot. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it definitely a little, little miss on the communication there. Uh, Hot Soup was heading in when uh, Tucker and, and uh, MK here were both both backing out, and it kind of put uh, Hot Soup in an awkward situation. And Hot Soup is just now finding that he actually doesn't have a jungle anymore. Oh no! Oh, oh Shadow Wolf oh, is down. Solo kill in the mid lane. Shadow Wolf. Uh, I don't know. I think Shadow Wolf's probably putting himself a little bit above Mouse Mazing right now in the, the mid tier power ranking. Yeah, yeah, he was he, he was he was he was talking a lot of talking a lot of smack on on Thursday, and it looks like he's 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 trying to back it up. I like to see that. I mean, early jungle pressure definitely helping him out a little bit, but getting the solo kill, probably feeling real good right now in this Galio. Yeah, but Toxic Pheasant getting good trade up top. We're gonna be able to walk away. Uh, <laughs> <this> here. <laughs> It might end up going a little bad for him. Uh, he's definitely taking a lot of damage there. But I, I will say that I, I, I love I love just the confidence from Toxic Besson in this lane. The, the man like, has gumption. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 got the gumption. Yep. He's he, like he's and obviously not afraid to go under your tower to try and kill you. So like there's yep. threat. He's always got threat. Yeah. He does have to be a little bit careful though. Allow he's gonna hit six off this next minion wave. Yeah. And I think. That's definitely before Toxic is going to have his ultimate up. So Heydu yeah. 5 could go for an all-in engage if he gets Toxic a little bit lower in this lane. Well, a lot of good damage there. Uh, Toxic able to trade uh, and kind of even that out a little bit. Yeah, what, what are the nice things that uh, that, that Renekton has in the uh, allowing matchup is that a lot of his trading patterns are kind of kind of in and out. So so it, it, it leaves kind of a... It, it, there aren't a ton of great times for the Lowy to have a really impactful ult in a 1v1 situation. Right, and we're seeing Sneezy Boy at level 6 uh, compared to Hot Soup's level 4. Sneezy Boy is just like absolutely taking a run of this map, and he is invading this jungle right now. We might see a little bit of action here. We're gonna find Hot Soup here. He's super low. He's just gonna take this red buff from him. Jeez. Yeah, Hot, Hot, Hot Soup de definitely having a rough time this yeah. game. Sne Sneezy Boy has been. Uh... He's been sneezing all yeah, over he's him. He's looking like cold soup right now. <laughs> and sneezy boys just eat cold soup to get yep. healthy. Yep. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. But yeah, so so far a really good early game for Merc Wolves. But while it's been a good early game, I mean, two kills up. The gold difference is only like 400. Um, it's still relatively even. Yeah. And down in this bot lane, we're going to see Quas hit 6 relatively soon. Um, which is where you were saying that the power is kind of unlocked for this duo lane. Yep. Oh, oh, he's, and Sneezy Boy is catching out Hot Soup again. He's going to have to flash out of that. Yes, yeah, Sneezy Boy's been doing an awesome job just tracking where Hot Soup is and, and just taking him down. But the bot lane is here. Yeah, but Galio is 6 and can ult over if someone gets into trouble. And Mouse Mazing just took a... Huge trade from Shadow Vault. So if they want this fight, they can take it pretty easily. There's the Galio going in onto Timberland, keeping him alive. MK Heat's just in the middle of the team dying down. Shadow Vault's just going further. Goes for it, oh. but doesn't have the range on it. Sneezy Boy taking the ult. Wins a able it. to pick that up. Teleport comes in from Hadoo 5. He's taunted up and taking a lot of poke from Sneezy Boy. And now Tucker is just under a turret, but just separated from his team. And that was a huge play for uh, Merkwolf. So that definitely busted the game open for them right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you kind of just, like, saw Merkwolf just, like, smacking, uh, smacking them with their level advantage right there.
Quaz hit six right here. We'll have to see if he tries to throw an arrow out. I think he's fishing for it. MK he shows up and then he decided not to go in on Tucker. Yeah, yeah. Seeing Toxic Bezin really pushed right now. Hatsu 5 is just waiting. Uh, waiting to kind of... He's, he's trying to see how many plates he can get, but he's... I mean, he he, he does have the slice and dice to get out of here. Yeah, he gets, uh, he gets out of there clean. Is able to pick up a couple yep, plates. All, all, only the slice is needed. Yep, no dice. Just slice. No dice. Yeah, and with that Alawi teleport not really doing much to the bot lane, Toxic Vezin was just able to free farm and push into turret, taking two of those platings, catching himself back up in gold that he was down on. Yep, and we're seeing Timberland and Quas playing really aggressive now. Uh, Timberland aggressively using the stand behind me to try and get some extra poke onto Tucker, um, which is good. I want to, I kind of want to see Quas have this like standout performance that we're used to seeing him have uh, in past uh, past seasons. Yeah, he, he, he he's definitely shown that that, that when he does uh, manage to get a lead, he definitely knows what to do with it. And, and like, Fed Quaz in the late game definitely is uh, one of the scarier AD carries in the league. Right. But right now we're looking at this duo, Sneezy Boy and Shadow Wolf, just fighting for vision right now. And a flash onto uh, Mouse Mazing. He's just going to pop. Ooh. Flash taunt. Looking good, Shadow Wolf. Looking and good. that's gonna be the yeah. That's gonna signal uh, Mountain Dragon for Merkwolves, and I don't think this can be contested. Hotsu Five is on the wrong side of the map for this, so he's got to get something here. At least make his uh, time up top worth uh, worth his while. It, it, it looks like they're they're thinking about a dive onto Toxic Vezin. It's, it's it's definitely a definitely a tough one on the wreck, and the Dominus is gonna give him so much stats. Yep. And on Hey Do Five took Tower Aggro pretty early. Is unable to get out of it. Yep. But. Actually, oh, wow. they get out with the yep. kills. Hatsu 5 yeah, able to drop yeah. aggro there. Um, but Shadow Volva wants a little more, but I don't think he's going to be able to pick up anything. So, honestly, one thing we didn't actually mention was so Sentinels picked red side to give Mouse Base the counter pick in the mid lane. And then when the second round of the draft phase came around, they ended up picking the Ari first, which just allowed Shadow Vol to pick up his Galio. And you can see how badly he's just destroying this lane, yep. picking up solo kills and duo kills with his jungler. So I think it was a drafting mistake to just go for that early Ari pick. But maybe they were, I mean, the Renekton was already on the table, so there's no reason why he couldn't have just picked up the Lowey first. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's definitely a good point. I mean, I mean, one of the nice things about Ari is that, that she is pretty blind pickable, but I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Skelly matchup is not it's not going well. No, so we're seeing uh, Sneezy Boy, the artist formerly known as Gallywix, going in right now, uh, trying to make a play on the Heydu 5, but just getting a little bit of poke. But just like running away with this gold lead, 82 farmed at 50. Um, looking at the gold uh, held by the junglers, he has almost like a full K. A full hot K on Hatsu 5. Yeah, and he's gonna get more now that Hatsu 5 is in the bot side. His yeah. entire top side jungle is up and that just gives Sneezy Boy three more camps on top of it. Yeah, let's we'll see if Hatsu is actually gonna be able to make something out of this. They get him out of Quaz, though. A lot of CC come down. Leona holds down. Quaz has no health left. It's just picked up by Tucker right there. Yeah, that was really play well played by Hatsu5. He got hit by the uh, by the Ash Arrow while he was mid burrow, so the stun timer was uh, starting to tick while he was already in motion. Um, just kind of a, a nice little interaction there, not really being able to make the full uh, full use of the stun duration there by Quas. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but you do have the Leona ult and the Leona E on top of it and the Q as well, so there's just so much CC onto that immobile Ash. Yeah. And right now, it looks like uh, Sneezy Boy is trying to look topside again. Toxic Vezin is shoved under his tower. What are we going to see here? Sneezy Boy's coming in hot. And he's backing off. Backing yeah, off. Spotted on Ward, so. <laughs> yeah, Hate 5 is uh, not interested nope, in that. He wants none of that. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. He might want some of that. Sneezy Boy's coming back. One thing Sneezy Boy didn't do was when he saw Rek'Sai bottom, uh, just take the entire topside jungle. So after that successful game from Hatsu, 
he actually has camp to go back to, so it'll catch him back up. Yep, but we're gonna see Sneezy Boy and Toxic Resident making it look easy, getting a kill on the Hey Dude 5. Turret plating has just fallen, so right now that it's a good chance for them to pick up this first tower. Yeah, that, 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 that was definitely a case of, of, of Hey Dude 5 just kind of overestimating his ability to, uh, the 2v1 there. Ooh, Hatsu 5 getting pushed out from under tower, and Sneezy Boy flashing and picking up the kill, going unstoppable. And this is definitely gonna be first tower. A sneezy boy is a sneezy man. <laughs> Speaking about people un overestimating their ability to 2v1. Well, the Galio's coming in. Oh, jeez. I was looking up at the top side. Yeah, Quaz ends up going down, but they end up getting the kill onto Tucker as well. And this just allows Galio just to free hit onto MK Heat, who's gonna go down. Yeah, that, that, was, that, was, a, that was an awesome uh, play from Shadow Bolt being there. Uh, it, it looked really bad for uh, Merkel's bot lane before before Shadow Bolt showed up. Yep. Yeah. Now this man is five zero and three, sitting on eight hundred gold bounty, most farm in the game. Shadow Bolt's just looking really unstoppable right now, showing his shadow of gold status. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's always a gamble of what you're gonna get. Like season one, it was like shadow of just like so much mold. And like right now, he's just looking so golden. Uh, Hatsu Five is just here to watch his tower fall. Not gonna be able to do anything right there. Uh, next Drake is coming up in 20 seconds. It's gonna be a nice air Drake, um, providing some good movement speed. Sneezy Boy would love that. Uh, a little extra zoom. But right now he's looking a little he's caught out. Mouse Amazing out is uh, gonna pick up the kill. Uh, actually, it's gonna be Hot 5 getting the shutdown. 900 gold bounty into his pocket. Um, but I bet Mouse Maze is wishing he got that. That's uh, that's some gold he could have done some real, real good with. Yeah, I don't know if they want to save for this. It is a 3v4 right now. So Shadow Vol gets charmed up, getting a lot of damage done, but gets a three-man taunt. Timberland super low. Leono comes down and misses it, actually. And they're giving away so many gold bounties to the side of Sentinels. And Sentinels picked that up a clean 3 And what zero. was just a minute ago, a gold lead for Merkwolves, and we are praising them, uh, has now turned in the favor of Sentinels. Um, wow. And yeah, they're going to get the dragon for this, too. Just like... What what went wrong there? What 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 happened? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they saw their sneezy boy get caught out, right? And then they can decide to continue to stay around. Shadow Bolt doesn't have his ultimate up to actually de deny any of that uh, damage coming down. So they just fought a three v four when Ash and Timberland are behind. So. Right. And sneezy boy picking up uh, Hey Dude Five there, who's greeting for a tower and not respecting the. Uh... The ability for Sneezy Boy to just absolutely destroy him. Um, right now, Sneezy Boy is looking at this Rift Herald. Uh, they have really good vision control right now. Two pinks kind of in here. I don't think that uh, Sentinels knows this is happening. I don't know if they can do anything to stop this. Yeah, yeah they're definitely not in a position to do much about it. Um... If, if they have vision on it, they could try to get it with an Ezreal ult, but they, they don't have much past okay, that. And that's going to go right over to Sentinels. Gold in the pocket. Um, but something we're uh, noticing that I didn't notice in, uh, I guess, Loden, but Mouse Amazing has opted for... Uh, I don't even know what that mastery is. The, yeah, Glacial Augment. Glacial Augment. Yeah, he actually went the Hextech GLP build. It's kind of interesting, so not really going for that burst down combo just more of a cc oriented build yeah it, it, it's definitely more more a, a lot more pick potential um with the with the glp and the do they do they still build twin shadows with that uh, probably not it looks like he's going Is for he? it next with that phoenix codex all right well teach their own maybe we'll see. <laughs> yeah you, right. do, you do you you know better than me yeah yeah i i, I remember that Previously, that that was that was like the build. Was you you built those two items with the uh, GLP or with uh, Glacial Augment, but Oop. but now we're getting the classic NA Ram with an in. arrow coming out from Quaz. A lot of damage being put down. Alawiol is up, but doesn't do much. K25 in the middle of the fight goes down. Toxic Vezin pushing out two members, and that is a huge team fight victory for the side of Merkwolves.
so much AOE being put out from Shadow of Old and Kaku. God, I love yeah. these team fights with Alawi. They just like like they, they just look like hot fiestas. Uh, just like tactical slapping. There's so <laughs> yeah. much going on. Uh, but yeah, it really didn't seem yeah. to matter for uh, Sentinels right there. Uh, Mouse Amazing is trying That's to kite out, in. but um, yeah, he's uh, gonna have to walk away from this one. Yeah, they're they're definitely gonna get some a lot more damage with his Rift Herald. Uh, they, they might get a hit onto the next tower, but I'm not sure if uh, Sentinel's gonna be there in time. Yeah, yeah, looks like they're 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 not trying to protect it. Yep, a really good play. Good team fight. Uh, definitely not the team fight you wanted to lose doing that NA RAM. NA A RAM. Um. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like that, 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 that's definitely one of the big advantages of uh, playing Ash on your team is like any any situation where you're in one of those A Rams, you, you can kind of decide when you want to take right, the fight. Right, you have the opportunity to kind of like call people out when they're out of position um, if you don't yep. trust the rest of your team to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and both of these teams have so much layered CC. So whoever just strikes first is most likely going to win. And Quaz saw that Hey Do Five was just stepped up a little bit too far away from his team, and that was the call to go in. It was, and uh, so Dragon's gonna be up in a minute twenty. Baron is live now, and we're seeing a little bit of jockeying for uh, some Baron vision right now. Merkles have a really good uh, good layout of vision right now. Um, hey Do Five's gonna get. Hopped into the team by Sneezy Boy. And Arrow coming on to Mouse Amazing, trying to catch him out. Uh, having to burn the uh, Spirit Rush to try and get out. Quas is being popped on there by uh, Hatsu5. Not going great. MK Heat trying to peel for his team, but Shadow Wolf's going to take him down. Uh, and this is going to be a wrap for Sentinels right now. And this is definitely going to signal Baron. Yeah, and that was just a really bad fight for the Sentinels. You know Tucker's in the bot lane fighting against Shadow of Old, who has teleport on that Galio. So it's just fighting a 4v5 once again. And you already lost the last fight, so you're not going to win that one. Right, but... Yeah, you know, so they, they, they are going for the Baron here, but... Yeah, well... There's definitely a lot of, a lot of options. Uh, Ooh, for, for it could be a throw. They could be... Just could, the teleport's yeah. coming in from Hayden 5. He wants some of this. Yeah, yeah Shadow is trying to get in there to try and do something. Mouse Amazing is just not falling. Miss Tucker the slays Toxic Vezin, tests his spirit from Hey Dude 5 on Shadow of Old, and Tucker is just cleaning up this fight. Uh, Mouse Amazing is just skirting right on the outside. Uh, MK Heat's gonna miss. Oh, Tucker! Oh. He's so good! <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing charm by Mouse Amazing to pick up the eye, oh. but we're still going. Shadow of Old is just. So oh good. no, Mouse Amazing! It gives the kill, but it gives over MK Heat is the last man standing. <laughs> <laughs> MK Heat and Timberland both support. Yep. Oh, oh, only, the, only the supports oh, are left. Oh, jeez. All right, they should just do support combat right now to figure yep. out who wins this game. 1v1 <laughs> and Baron Pit, go. <laughs> so uh, Ocean Drake's up. This is definitely a lot easier objective to try and pick up. MK Heat, since he is the player on the map, trying to get some vision. Yep. It, it, uh, also, it looks like uh, Mouse Amazing did did uh, just pick okay. up the Twin Shadows. And all things considered, from NPR, um, the goalie the gold's pretty even. It's twenty two minutes, and this is like a very even game. Yeah, yeah. No, a, a, a lot of the a lot of the fights have looked looked pretty decisive one way or the other. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, overall, it's 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 been yeah, definitely some even. shady shady calls <laughs> on both sides. Um, but that's good. It's a little bit of back and forth. Some, uh... Yep. Oh, we wouldn't want it to be too one-sided. I was just super surprised during that last fight how long Mouse Mazing lived with no mana and 400 health in that fight. Yeah. It's like he basically started off the fight like that and then was uh, alive till the end. Yep, and right now Merkwolves are uh, trying to choke out the vision here, but not realizing that they're standing right on top of a ward. Renekton has teleport, so he can join the fight, but it looks like the call's going in. Alawi's in the middle of the team, has the ultimate down. Galio goes on to nobody, though. Talia is already dead. Rek'Sai dies on the back line. Galio, four man ultimate, or taunt, gets on to everyone. Now MK Heat's in a bad spot. Tucker is getting broken down by uh, Toxic Vezin, but he ends up dying 
now Quaz is just able to free hit on a Hey Do 5. Timberland's going and gets a slow onto Mouse Amazing. Mouse Amazing has to flash off. Tucker still on the sidelines, just putting out that poke. Taunt comes down onto Quaz, goes down to Tucker on the other side of that wall. And Timberland's in a bad spot. Shadow Vold picks up the kill onto Mouse Amazing, and he's chasing down Hey Do 5. There are question mark pings coming out. Shadow Vold gets <laughs> blasted by Tucker with a triple kill. Oh, this Holy guy! God. That was. That was such All a right. good fight. Uh, don't give this guy Ezreal. Moral of the story. Uh, he's an absolute <laughs> yeah. monster. His positioning was so good over that wall. Like, he was chunked out super hard by Toxic Vezin early. But he was just able to position over that wall. Nobody was able to get on him. He was able to do so much damage. And we're going to see him almost take out Sneezy Boy. One more uh, Q will do it. Oh, he nails he it. it. This dude can't miss. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, but it's a zoning ultimate. Time. He was hurting. He was hurting him. Who needs that? And he already has three items completed: the Miramana Transform, the Iceborne Gauntlet, and the Hextech Gunblade. Now he's looking for that next tier. This dude's gonna be real big in these late game team fights. Eleven, three, and four. Oh man, this is great to see. Definitely one of the other people that was just popping off in the last series and probably didn't get enough attention. As much attention as he should have uh, in those Sentinels victories last week. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I imagine that at some point we might start seeing some more uh, Ezreal bans against this team because he's, he's been playing really well yeah. on it. Not after next patch, though. Ezreal's going to get nerfed pretty hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, double tier build is going to go down the drain. Oh, that's a bummer. No, it isn't. <laughs> that's a big old bummer. Tong coming out from Mouse Amazing onto Timberland. Galio comes in. Rek'Sai dodges it with the ultimate, though. Ezreal gets shut down, so they lose a lot of that team fight power, and they just have to call to run away. Shadow of Old putting out so much damage. Winds of War is able to take down the Leona. And now Sneezy Boy ults onto Mouse Amazing, but gets taunted up. Mouse Amazing is able to just walk away. Man, it, it is just back and forth. Like, who, who wins every team fight? <laughs> it's just like one team wins one team fight, and the next team fight, the other team fights. It's like a rap battle. Over, over it's, like a bear, it's like a really even rap battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, man. They're, they're both throwing out some disses. You know, this is, this, this is, this is, there's some hot fire being spit. But yeah, it's like, it's, this is definitely like some yeah. uh, ending of eight mile shit. So uh, we'll have to see in the last, uh, the last round who can get the better. Will it be Sentinels? Will it be Merkles? Yeah. Give us our hashtag, Sentinels Merkles. Let us know what you think. This game is hype. I mean, right now it looks like Merkles. I don't know. I think the <laughs> Sentinels, like, the way that they've been playing, they've just been, the games the that they've been playing have just been, like, super fun and exciting to watch. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I, I mean, Merkles uh, won the last team fight, so this next one's going to be gonna be all Sentinels. Oof. Well... I mean, Tucker just got popped immediately in, in the, like he got caught out in the wrong spot and taken yep. down. So if he's allowed to survive, we see how much damage he puts out, but he gets caught out one more time. That's probably just gonna be game for seven. Flash up now, so hopefully that helps him in this next team fight. Yeah, he had it up well, in the last team fight. That's too. good because now he, well, at least he has it up for this <laughs> next one. Yep, he, yeah, that he, is he right. Yeah, for the fight that matters. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, we are starting to near the point where uh, where a lost fight could mean an inhibitor this or the game. This rap battle is so, coming uh, to an end. Yep. <laughs> the thing is, you don't have a crit AD carry, so these cannon minions are going to be kind of hard to take down. Mm -hmm. So Sentinels have a really, really good siege, and they can protect them with uh, Sneezy Boy's poke. As you're all taken up by Brom Shield right, right there. And also, one thing to point out in the last team fight, Toxic Vezin wasn't even there. It was a 4v5. He was just pushing in the top lane. Nice cuts on the Shadow Wolf. Tons of damage going to be coming down onto him. Chunk down to half. Yeah, but, but both teams are getting pretty chunked out here. He's going to get the slow. Hatsu 5 is trying to come in, trying to get the knockup. Charm onto Toxic Vezin. He's going to fall down, uh, but so is... Uh... So is Hatsu 5. Galia Wolf coming in. Quas stunned up by MKE. But so much damage, 85 is gonna pop. Tucker is flashing away. Uh, this is gonna be a Merc Wolves team fight right there. Tucker is left alive, but with barely any health. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
it, it, it was a great job by by by, by Tucker to, to like not die there. Um, he managed to pick up the the kill on the Talia like in, in pretty much a one v one situation and then and then get out. But yeah, they're they're gonna lose a lot for this. Yeah, and Zabel is pointing it out in Twitch chat right now. But what Hatsu Five is doing is basically going in after Mouse Amazing hits a charm. So she hit the charm onto Toxic Vezin. Toxic Vezin pretty much died instantly. But then he Hatsu 5 went in and traded his own life, which was completely unnecessary since he already had uh, the Renekton caught out and dead. Mm -hmm. So if the, if the Rek'Sai just stays in the back line and peels for Mouse, Mazing, and Tucker, they win that fight. Yep. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, maybe he's a little, little too used to, uh, to how far ahead he was last week. Uh, <laughs> got, got to kind of recalibrate himself for, yeah, for being more even this game. In. Um, so if you were just tuning in now, just like oh. Icicly, you are about to witness uh, the rap battle of the rap battle of the week. It seems um, this is the ending scene of Eight Mile right now. We're gonna find out who is Eminem and who is just lunch meat. Um, <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> right, so the reason why he's diving is basically try to disrupt the Ash and Sneezy Boy to not let them get any damage off. But the problem is he's going straight into a Braum. So he's going to get CC'd immediately. And then he doesn't have the GA to revive. He's just going to... And you saw it, he just instantly pops when he goes in. Yep, Hatsu 5 is on the flank again. Uh, Galil's coming down. Uh, Got to pick up two people. But right now, Hatsu 5 is on, just like tanky up the front line. He's gonna go down. But in the meantime, uh, Tucker's gonna be protected. If you protect this man, he is gonna carry this team fight. Uh, Brom charm under tower. Mouse Mazing and Tucker at half health. But they're gonna be able to just walk away from this one. Yeah, that, that, that actually turned out to be a pretty pretty even team fight. There, there was uh, <laughs> there was members from both teams diving probably a little bit too deep, but uh, that's all right. These, these, these team fights are awesome to watch. I, 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 I love it. Yep, this is awesome. Another dragon going to be picked up on the side of Merkwolves, evening out the Ocean Drake score one to one. Both sides going to have some regeneration. But uh, yeah, I want to see some, some, some Infernal Drakes. I want to see one team kind of pull ahead and uh, see what we can do. But we are not going to get that today because we are on to Elder Drake next. Yeah, the next team fight's most likely going to be around this Baron that spawns in a minute. And the, the great thing for Sentinels is they have a lot of towers taken down, so they have so much map pressure to be able to push their vision and keep... Uh, sorry, for Merkwolves. But they're able to keep Sentinels away from this pit, and they could just take it for free or get any fight mm -hmm. they want with the Ash Arrow. I think one of the takeaways uh, for Sentinels is Alawi is probably not going to be played again. Um, I think that Hadoop 5 is having a bad time on this champion and i think that he would have just been much better off with what he picked maybe last week like the uh like the maokai yeah maokai yep yeah like if, if you don't get the lead as a Lowy, it, it, it definitely is a lot harder to actually be impactful because you don't you don't bring anything other than that big team fight presence right. yeah. um and and yeah like if, if those slaps aren't aren't slapping people then uh you're you're, you're not doing much I mean, Toxic Vezin only has one item completed. So in the split push, the Lowie is going to win that. But the problem is they're just sending Shadow of Old to split push, who is 12, 4, and 15 on They're going to start with the Baron right yeah. now, uh, just the four of them. Galio does have teleport to answer this. But uh, this seems to be... No it is going down going very down fast. fast. Mountain Drake will do that 10% extra damage. Hatsu 5 knows about this. So he's going to try and pick it up with a Prey Seeker. Not going to be able to. And that's going to be another Baron for Merkwolves. Yeah. Yeah, and if Merkwolves try to fight this right now and they lose, it's just game. Yeah, it looks like they're 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 thinking about it, but looking for a pick. Oh, Hatsu 5 taking so much damage. Ash Arrow comes out onto him, but it's protected from the team. Brahmol knocks up three. He actually gets shut down from the Ezreal though. Hadoo 5 is in the middle of the team but gets popped immediately. MK Heat goes down. Qua is able to pick that one up. Now Shadow of Old's going in. Hatsu 5 is in the wrong spot on the back lane. Has to stop watch to protect himself. Oh, and Tucker but went in. Tucker just in. gets popped by Shadow of Old. Oh, no. Good stop watch, or Zonius, I should say, to keep him alive. And yeah. that yep. is going to be the only the man right alive now. is that amazing mouse. Uh, and he is not going to be enough to stop this team. 
Quas still up, going to be able to take down these turrets. This is looking like the end of game one, this epic rap battle. Uh, it looks like Merkwolf's got the final word. They're going to be taking down Sentinels in this game one. They're going to be getting the W. Sorry, First W is St. Patrick's Day. Let's go. Pour some out. Wait, what? Oh, the hammer's back up. It's not Hitler's over yet. Back up in the next. Okay, he, don't, next die. <laughs> don't die. Don't uh, die. Mouse Amazing ended up giving his life, so they're not going to be able to protect this. Uh, next stuff. Yeah, so Rex, they're still Rex trying to put up Valiant after. This is the end of not going to be fast enough. <laughs> As you were saying before. As you were saying, first win of uh, uh, going out to, uh, to uh, yeah, Merkwolves. Pour some out for the Sentinel boys. They're going to need your love coming into this game, too. That's 67 kills in 34 minutes. <laughs> Almost double the amount of that is, minutes. That is, that is a lot of minutes right there. <laughs> wow. Man, that was... My, my, my heart's pumping. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, that, was that was a was wild game. To watch. I mean, it was super... It was e really even. Uh, I mean, that one team fight at Dragon that bring, brought Sentinels from... Uh, a deficit back into a lead and i don't know that was just like really good plays some people getting caught out um but overall just like a really good and evenly matched game um which bodes well for both teams yeah oh yeah yeah and there's definitely some some clear adjustments that uh that the sentinels can make to in the next game like like for example, the Lowey pick wasn't wasn't as impactful as they wanted. Um, they weren't really able to do much with that. So maybe, maybe putting a putting Hey Dude onto something a little a little more utility might be nice. Because um, yeah, the, the top lane matchup I don't think a whole lot's right. going to be going on either way. Um, but yeah, I mean we'll have to see yep. what and what they that, end up doing we're in the next game. Send it to a quick break, and we will be back to you with some more Rex League action. Stay tuned. the game. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more Rec League action. I am Enraged Overy. I am joined by the lovely Darth Head and the super handsome Adolma. What's up, boys? <laughs> Not much. Just ready for an ex exciting game. Let's two go. These two and happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. For those of you joining us, it is a slobber knocker game between uh, Sentinels and Merc Wolves. A really close game one. Some sick team fights. Uh... What do you want to see in this game, too? I want to see more kills. That's what Let's I want go. to see. I'll, I want to see some more crazy team fights. I want to, I'll, I'll, I'll I want mean, to see more what we don't know what is that if this was, like, an epic rap battle, we don't know if this was just the first half of the rap battle. Like, we're saying that Sentinels had, or, or Merkwolves yeah. had just won it all right there. Maybe this rap battle is still going. We just don't know. And they're, like, Sentinels are about to drop oh, some bad, like, yes. serious shade. <laughs> serious shade is going to be thrown. <laughs> It's definitely still going. I want to see Sentinels, Merc Wolves finals now. Like, that's yeah. the only way I want this season to end. We oh, have yeah. five games and so many kills. Like, last game we got two kills per minute. This time I want three. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want it wetter. I want it wilder. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just want it crazy. Let's that's Patrick what I want. say that feels like the play. So, looking at some of these players, uh, I want to talk about the jungle matchup a little bit. Last game, we saw Sneezy Boy just absolutely destroying Hot Soup 5. Um, what, do, what were you guys' feelings on that early game, and like, how did Sneezy Boy pull that off? So initially, it started out with the failed gank attempt, right? So Rek'Sai ended up going into the top lane, didn't end up getting a kill onto... Wait, no, ended up getting a kill onto Toxic Vezin, which allows Sneezy Boy to just start vertical jungling and go into... Um, Sorry, Hatsu 5's jungle to take all of his camps. What Hatsu 5 didn't do was go in, do the vertical jungling, go into Sneezy Boy's jungle and take all the bo uh, all the topside camps from Sneezy Boy. So Hatsu 5 kind of, he, he got the first kill, which was really good, but they didn't follow up and didn't take any of the camps from Sneezy Boy. So he set himself really far behind. And after that, Sneezy Boy and Hatsu 5 kind of met in the middle and Sneezy Boy was really far ahead. So he just completely mirrored Hatsu 5's jungle movement and just invaded them every chance he got. Yeah. I mean, they looked real like Sneezy Boy looked really comfortable on that Talia. We were having some questions whether or not that that was going to be a good pick into the very consistent rec side of Hatsu 5. Uh, but he showed that he could pull it off with style, uh, looking really good on that champion. Yep. That is that. 
And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked really good. And, yeah, I mean, Talia is a lot easier to play in team fights than the Rex is. And since Talia was ahead, she was just so much more effective with all that poke coming out. And mm. as uh, I think Zabel pointed out in the chat, Rex I kept going in to try to get engages after there were already picks from the side of Sentinels. So talk to Vezin was getting caught out a little bit, but then, you know, the Rex I would just trade her life for no apparent reason. And it, it just kind of fell apart. Yeah, the, the, there was also a lot of times where, where kind of the, the, the Galio uh, taunt comboed really well with the with the Talia knockup and did just like a ton of damage onto multiple people. And like they, they were able to leverage that really well right. to win a lot and of those team fights. I think that Tucker was definitely in a position to try and hard carry that game. Uh, but we saw in the end they're kind of getting caught out in some of those later team fights. Yeah, he, he also just didn't quite have the damage to take out the entire team before uh, before it was down to just him. So, so you know, like the dude needs more yeah, damage. It ended up making it a little tough. Yeah, and I mean, with Mouse Mazing going that Glacial Augment build, you just didn't have any other damage source since the Alawi was so far behind as well, and the Rek'Sai kept dying. So it was just on Ezreal. And I mean, we saw how much damage you could put out, but yep. not yeah. enough. Yeah, he, he didn't have quite as much damage as the as the entire Merc Wolves team combined. So yeah. Right. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> ended up making so it we're all seeing, uh, we are back into champ select. Uh, bands coming out. Um, we're seeing Nocturne and Kha'Zix banned away uh, on the sign of Merc Wolves. Nocturne was not banned away before. Maybe this is an adjustment. Maybe they're expecting... Was it? Uh, the, oh, okay. No, it was. The, the Nocturne was Well, the banned. Malzahar was not. Okay, well, they're keep, keeping the same bands, uh, but we're seeing the Galio taken away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the Malzahar, Malzahar was, was banned, banned before. before. Everything too. was banned, it's just a different order. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the, right. the main difference is the Galio ban, but, but yeah, they're, they're going straight for that Ezreal. They yep. want Tucker on it again. I don't blame Yeah, them. I, I mean, that's Tucker a really good again. first pick. Ezreal is super strong right now. Uh, allegedly will not be as strong in the future, but uh, that is not today. This is St. Patrick's Day. The dude's going to be popping off yep. again, hopefully. Uh, and again, we're going to be seeing the Croc pick up for Toxic Bezin. He looked really good on it. I think that he he performed admirably. He did. Yep. I love it. I want to see more of it. And yeah, they're going with the Ash again. We're, maybe we're going to get a, yeah, almost this, a run this, back. This the salty the, run back? Uh, <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be like very rap battle-esque, yeah. right? The salty run back. I want to see it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Going with the Rek'Sai again. I love it. I love it. More yeah. of the same. That's what I want. I free up storage because my computer storage is running low. Good to know. <laughs> uh, There's a Kane. Kane. Okay. So an adjustment has Kane, been made. Right. Um, something with a little more early game. I don't know. Just like early game mobility. But I guess Rek'Sai also has a lot of early game mobility. Uh, I guess Kane... Yep. Kane, Kane has no, more carry fun. potential. It's, it's, it's definitely going to be a little easier for Kane to play. Yeah, these Kane definitely has more fights. carry potential uh, than Rexire. But uh, we are seeing this. Yep, Shout continuing to meme. meme. Again. He will be done memeing in eight seconds. I do like the Nautilus pickup. It pretty much does the same exact thing as the Leona, except you have to go through minions. But we do see the Braum again for Timberland. And, I mean, the Brom Ash lane, they did it really well. They pulled a lot of pressure. And they were winning hard early until Hatsu 5 started showing love. Yeah, he showed, he showed a lot of good love. Yep. Um, but with with that love, uh, though, love towards Timberland, because he looked really good blocking a lot of, ha uh, not hey dude, uh Tucker's damage on that Ezreal, blocking some of the, uh, the Ezreal ults um, here and there. But, uh, yeah, performing really well on that champion. Yeah, it, it, it looks like Merkle is uh, banning out the Maokai because they're, it, it, it looks like they're trying to force uh, right, Hadoop back on that that wasn't quite as effective uh, in those team fights, but I have faith that Hadoop 5 can play Scion, and Scion is not banned yet. <laughs> any <laughs> any dude with two Scion. hands and a third of a brain. As, as, as a rage show, over has shown, yeah, past, I mean, anyone he just, can play he just waltz up to top lane and... If yeah, if you want to be shadow wolf with real dumb, you can just play Scion. Um, but yeah, we're yep. not if we're not gonna see the Scion ban. We're gonna see Morgana taken away from Mouse Amazing or MK Heat. Mouse Amazing did play in the series against Scuttle. Uh, that was pretty sweet. He was hitting all of his uh, Dark Bindings. Yep. Yep. Yes, he was. It was uh, 
Nope. He, yeah, much more he to say about that. It was, uh, <laughs> yep. it was pretty nice. Yeah, quite a few of them. Looking like yeah. Jacef out there on the Jacef, roof. Uh, yep. The homie with, uh, <laughs> with insane skills. Um, but yeah, so we are going to see what we're going to be picking up here. Um, I, I assume we're guessing that Nautilus is going to be going to the support role for Sentinels. Okay. I would, I would assume, assume so. so, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it could also be potentially top lane, but I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. And I uh, the Talia. Wow, that, a lot so, of yeah. going. Ooh, we're going to see the Yasuo picked up Ooh. for Mouse Mazing. Yeah, it's going to be a Mouse Mazing Yasuo. And a Malphite to round that out. There's the Malphite knockout. There. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Last, I get it last second about combo high combo. skill champion. Malphite is here. Um, yep. Yep. Forget, forget Zion. You can just play Malphite. Yeah, yeah, this was definitely something we saw a lot earlier in the season, where a lot of teams would, when when they when they had a, a weaker top laner, they they would just put them on Malphite duty, um, and it let them just be super impactful throughout the whole game. Yo, no matter what happened the, in the lane. sorry to cut you off, uh, but Lissandra's picked up. Let's go. <laughs> Lissandra is just like hey, actually bananas right now. Uh, that champion just does so much. Uh, yeah. She can get like she shoves really hard early. She provides so much utility and roam pressure. Um, her teleport plays are just like actually insane. If you can flank with her um, and get onto the back line, it's uh, it's devastating. And we're also seeing the Vi picked up for Sneezy Boy, trading out the Talia for Vi, um, getting the changes in the last patch that makes her more of a tanky bruiser as opposed to an assassin bruiser. Yep. But uh. Yeah, and we do see Mouse Mazing is actually picking up the cleanse, which is probably the good, the right call with all the CC coming out from Lissandra and Vi. Yep, that... I, I, I've, I've definitely seen a lot of people do that into the uh, Lissandra matchup, especially. Yeah, it just gives you it gives you a lot of a lot more options than you'd have otherwise. And I mean, this Yasuo is going to look to go in right onto Lissandra, and Lissandra's yep. just going to press W and go away. But if Yasuo has the cleanse up, he could choose to cleanse the stu or the initial snare. And yep. then just keep going on to the list. So it's almost a little bit offensive in the 1v1. Yeah, I mean, it just negates so much of the, I guess, kill threat that Lissandra can have. <coughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I really like these adjustments. I think that Merkwolf's comp is, is deadly. And there's so much, like, single-target CC that they can just, like, dish out. And if they catch out someone... Kind of like uh, what Sentinels was doing last week to Scuttle Crab, just kind of picking like the Malzahar or the Morgana and just like really punishing people uh, for stepping out of line. Yep. But uh, we're seeing uh, the hyper carry comp here. Uh, Ezreal and Yasuo and Kane kind of looking to, to style a little bit. Yeah. I, I mean, one thing I do want to point out about the uh, Sentinels comp is that like almost every single champion has a knockup for this Yasuo. Like, everybody except for the Ezreal has some way to, to, to you know, like, they right. have something that the Yasuo, Yasuo can ends up of, going uh, for awesome. Red Kane, um, then he'll get the knockup. So, assuming he does that, yep. he should do Most that. We hope Kane. that he does that. Uh, that would yep. be... Yep. Why else right. would you go Kane over Rek'Sai? Uh, but yeah, Rek'Sai would have also <laughs> been a very solid pick uh, with this. But, uh, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going. I love it. I love it. I, I, I want. I want to see what. I want to see what they can do. You know, like they. They. they, they uh, Sentinels definitely has a lot more. A lot more damage this game. Um, that that they're going to be able. To, they have. They have. They, they should have more carry options right. than than just. Target, I feel like this is definitely which, which a lot more play. into the mouse. Like, put all of your eggs into the mouse amazing basket, and can is he good enough to carry? Yep. Yep. And, yeah, and honestly, I want to find out. I don't know about you guys. I, mm. I think we're going to find out. Yeah. But Tucker, this time around, will have Mouse Mazing to do damage, right? Like, he doesn't have it all on his shoulders. And I think that's going to be huge. Because last game, we saw just giant 5v5 team fights. What's better in a 5v5 team fight than Yasuo and Malphite? Like, there's there's not much unless you have Maybe on a top yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. There's no Galio this time to negate a lot of the damage coming out. So if, um, sorry, if they can pull the trigger with the Malphite ultimate onto four or five members, like that's just going to be an mm. instant deletion. Yep. Yeah. yeah so we're going to have to see Merc Wolves play a different style, right? Like they can't just sit five people mid and hope to win a team fight this game. 
especially yeah. with the wind wall being able to block out the ash ultimate mm-hmm. which you know yeah, mass maze is going to be able to pull off yeah that, that that actually is a really good point with the wind wall shutting down uh shutting down a lot of their their engage options there yeah i i, I imagine that will come up at some point uh yep, so series. we are gonna find out um i feel like yasuo definitely has a really good early lane into lissandra but Lissandra does have this teleport. I don't know. These team fights are going to be really sweet. Mm-hmm. I think that we're going to see another good, uh, good game of good team fights coming out from both teams. <laughs> a yep. Good game of good League of Legends. That's, well, that's, we've got that's some what we're extra see. time. We can do shameless plug. We got sick hats. They came in today. Uh, I'm repping it right now. I don't even wear hats, and now I'm wearing a hat, and they look so, so sick. sick. Um, and they got, even got that stupid shiny sticker for those people that like like hats and like want to keep the sticker on that. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> those oh, oh, you hat people! I, I'm I'm new to this whole hat. <laughs> All thing. those people, right? Yeah. yeah. Everybody keeps so, the sticker. With that, we are going to be getting into game. We are going to be getting on to the rift right now. Yeah, it's a good time to get onto the rift. A lot of pings coming out early on, though, so it looks like we're going to see some level 1 invades. Yeah, I mean, a lot of pings were coming out last game, too. I feel like everyone's just kind of setting up their line of scrimmage right now. I don't know. Tucker is going to get... A, gets one klepto stack, gets that stack of gold for yeah, himself. That's nice. That's, that's a... That's a oh. yep. Victory that for Sentinels. Yeah, gold. a nice sly sack. Yeah, now the, now the real question is 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 he gonna is he gonna roll the dice or is he just gonna go back and sell it? Nah, you roll the dice. You always roll the dice. Oh yeah, I I I'm a dice roller myself, but yep. I, I like and to see what other people. To do. answer uh, Chat's question, we will be announcing how we're gonna do hats, um, how we're gonna figure it out. We want to kind of make it as equal as possible. We only have twenty right now, so uh, yeah, but we'll announce it. It'll probably just be like email in. So, and then we'll, we'll save one for you. So, yep, but we'll figure that out at a later time because I got them like 10 minutes before the stream started. So, uh, yeah, here we are. But, uh, yeah, game two is underway. And uh, an even start this time, uh, both starting at their uh, bot side jungle. None of this shenanigans like last game. I'd like to say something to Zable. Could you please shut yeah, your trap? You, you don't want to hear me talking <laughs> in an accent. Everything, everything turns like Australian. Yeah, no, and I, I get very self-conscious about it. I'm very self. <laughs> no matter what yeah, the accent is, is. I'm like, very Australian. self-conscious about doing accents. So it's not, that's not my thing. So don't prey on my insecurities, dude. <laughs> that, that ain't cool. We we all got baggage. It might just happens to be accents. Yeah, we see Zabel, or sorry, Sneezy Boy finishing up Gromp before Kane gets Krugs and is able to get this Scuttle Crab. Yeah, not even going to be contested. I think just assuming it's going to go the way of Sneezy Boy. Kane opting for... He will be spotted, though. So they know he just did it on this ward. Yep, and... yep there he is. Yeah, and I see him tapping back up towards his, uh, towards his wolves. Yep, Kane's just going for a full clear right now. Uh, going red, Gromp. <laughs> Uh, Raptors. He's just trying to clear out his jungle. He does not want to lose all like half of his jungle like he did last game, looking like a fool with his pants on the ground. Uh, he's like, he's like, you yeah. can't take my jungle if I take it first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks like Hotsip was thinking about uh, going for the scuttle crab on the other side, and he is gonna do it. Yeah, it was spotted on that ward though, so going for the gank on Shadow Vault doesn't actually pay off for anything. Yeah. Not yeah. going for the gank, just walks over and Shadow Vault yeah, knows like, he's there. Bye is trying to get to that Skull Crab as fast as she can. Uh, I don't think she's going to be fast enough. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to win this fight against Hot Soup either, because she doesn't have uh, right, that yeah. red buff. And, and and the Skull Crab goes to Hot Soup. A, a, a near miss from uh, Sneezy Boy there. Close, but no cigar. Now, now Hot Soup is kind of kind of waffling around on the top side. Um, Yep, waffling. Just yep. lots, lots of waffles. <laughs> Awful waffle, waffle. So, what do you think about going grasp on the Malphite instead of something like uh, arcing comet? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, grasp on on Malphite and just like yeah. in general in top lane. Um, it, it just kind of works with how a lot of the trading patterns tend to go. Um, and, and unless your game plan is to just like 
max Q and spam Qs at them as often as you can, and they don't have a ton of sustain, then I, I, like, I like going for more of a Ooh, Mouse grass Amazing, build. yep. A nice wind wall from Mouse Amazing blocks the claw from Shadow Vold, but still walks into Sneezy Boy and takes a lot of damage there. So that's going to give a pretty nice back to Shadow Vold, who is actually running a lot out of a lot of mana yeah, in this lane. Like last game where we saw the Alawi Renekton matchup, uh, I guess in the early game, Toxic Resident was falling a little bit behind. He was like having a lot of good pressure, but falling behind. Uh, this is not the case this time. Toxic Resident saying like, I know how to play against Malphite. I got this in the bag. And he's looking really good right now. Uh, up in the top lane, not falling behind yep. in CS, which is uh, kind of what you're looking to do if you're Toxic Resident right now. So we saw that Ash used that hawk shot to shoot all the way across the map, and it actually did spot out how to five on his wolves. And Sneezy Boy was just a little bit too slow on that to be able to go in and fight him when he was low. <laughs> There's one thing you really want to see out of Ash players, how they are able to communicate with their team to use that vision. Yeah. And that was a really good example of it. Yeah, smart, smart play by uh, Quas H. Yeah, and in the spot lane, we do see Tucker is actually out of mana right now, getting pushed in a lot, but now has two Sly Sacks of Gold that he's going to be able to consume. I didn't see how much he got for him. I was trying to figure that out. My bad. I'm sorry, Twitch chat. But he's able to get that tier off the first uh, back and is starting to stack that up now. But just, just give Quaz free time in this lane, and I mean, he's already... Almost perfect CS yeah. on this Ash right like now. It sounds like the game sounds are a little desynced, which uh, kind of... I don't really know what to do about that. I've noticed that in the past. Um, I don't know what the fix is. Rip, but uh, mm. we're going to see Mouse Amazing going in. Getting the knockup on the Shadow of Old. Aftershock's going to proc for him, but so much damage coming out. But he's going to do the self ult frozen tomb. But he's going to be able to flash here. away from Sneezy Boy. Shadow Vault is trying to go and flash again. He's going to get caught up under oh. tower. The nice oh knockup by Mouse Amazing. Oh Amazing. no. That was so sick by Shadow Vault. Shadow of Mold going in too far once again. At least it wasn't bad as the Lulu death. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it was it was some great it was some great mechanical play by him. Uh, seeing, seeing that his E was about to hit the wind wall, taking it right before it hits, and then flashing over the wind wall. But <laughs> yeah, and ends up uh, looks like he's trying to try to show yeah, off a little bit good, there. But, uh, but uh, looking good while yeah. dying is probably not as good as just staying alive. Yo, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan for right, well, of, uh, looking good game. while dying, but. <laughs> I hope you die, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so kind of back to business as usual. Things are going down. Lanes are shoving. People are going in. Quaz is getting some good damage on MT Heat. Uh, Flash is going to be burned to stay alive. Timberland's going to miss. Um, this is Q right there. And uh, people are just going to walk away. A nice flash burn. Yeah, m m that was amazing having oh, a pretty good not that in good. that lane. Doesn't but to me. he ends up yeah. doing so many minions. And he takes, he takes Ooh, so much minion damage just there. Just missing Tucker. Yeah, and Shadow Vold saying, well, now that you don't have the tower behind you, I'm yeah, able to kill you easily. Like, it's so annoying having, like, Aftershock on Lissandra. It just gives, makes her so tanky and also lets her go for that Demolish proc so she can get that early plating, which is just so good. Yeah, and, and it looks like they're, they're, they're thinking about a dive in the top lane, uh, like like they did uh, like last game, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to back down now. There's some, some back pings coming out. Yeah, it's kind of hard to dive in Malphite after yeah. he hits level six. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is certainly tough, and it looks like they they do realize yeah. that. So, Potsy Five just farming up his jungle, and Sneezy Boy farming up Potsy Five's jungle too. Good to see some good counter jungling going on. 
Sneezy Boy always spending a ton of time in the enemy jungle. And now rethinking this gank, going in and going out. Ah! Hatsu 5 is here for a counter gank. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of... It, it, there's some impending da -da. action in the top lane, it looks like. Hatsu was spotted, though. Oh. Vi knows he's there. Yep, right now. Yeah, no Hatsu. Oh, and the ult over the wall. Got the assault and battery is going to stun him up, but Hadoop is going to be there. And oh, oh my oh. god, Mouse Amazing is there. Uh, with the last breath to get the help get the kill onto Vi. Woo! Yeah, yeah bo 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 both Malphite and Yasuo are on the other side of the wall. So Malphite ults over the wall, knocks up the uh, knocks up Sneezy Boys so that Yasuo can That's also so follow. Good. That was amazing. Being at the right place at the right time with his boy, The Rock, uh, in the top lane. Good coordinated play there, able to help get the kill onto the Malphite, who is looking to be struggling really a ton in this lane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and talk to Vezin actually failed to flash over the wall to join his team. So maybe they could have turned it if he hit that, but gain the frozen most two likely on Mouse Maisie and, not. Uh, Mouse Maisie have to burn cleanse to get out of that one. He's not going to have that the next time Frozen yeah. Tomb is back up. But, uh... Yeah, so one of the interesting things that Shadow Wall is looking to do with Lissandra this game, as opposed to his other games, is he's kind of going for like this lane kingdom style, and he's just pushing down these turret plates, as opposed to using his ults uh, to kind of create pressure around the map. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's definitely getting a lot of gold off those plates. Um, and yeah, like the, the lane definitely has has been going pretty heavily in uh, Shadow Bolt's favor, it's felt like, but the, the CS numbers have been pretty even. It's actually a little interesting that Mouse Mazing went for the Static Shiv over the Phantom Dancer build. I mean, yeah. just going for that more damage instead of a safer item to give you that extra shield. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I imagine that with, with Shadow Bolt pretty relentlessly pushing into his tower, he's just trying to get a little extra wave clear to kind of keep up. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. But I mean, Mouse Mazing is doing a really good job CSing right now, and he's yep. pretty much even with Shadow Vold minus the tower plates. So he honestly will be a monster in these late game team fights, and we already saw what his Yasuo prowess is. Yeah, hope, hopefully we see a lot more of it over the uh, over the course of this game. Um, it looks like, yeah, that. Both teams are definitely setting up a lot of vision around this dragon. Uh, should be should be the next objective for them. Early ocean drakes do do tend to be a lot more valuable than uh, they are at other points in the game. Now it's amazing baiting out a fight right here, but doesn't know if he wants it. Vi is there as well. Picks up the kill. Uh, teleport comes in from the Malphite, but his team's already dead, so he just teleports into ult away. And Vi looks like she wants to go in, but doesn't end up pulling the trigger. They just pick up a two, uh, clean two kills right there. Yeah, that 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 is a that is a huge exchange for uh, for Merc Wolves there. Yeah, it, it, j just the fact of like being able to like the fact that you can't cancel the teleports anymore. Uh, hey dude ends up losing a he loses an entire wave into the tower. His teleport and his ult for for basically nothing. Right, and like we're seeing all that like. The kill count is pretty low, but we're seeing so much of that gold from plating and just CS showing on the side of Merc Wolves this game. But a hook is going to land onto Quas. A uh, depth charge is going to be dropped onto, but Timberland's denying so much damage. Um, but they're just trying to disengage this. But to try and actually no turn it, Tucker's going to pop Timberland. Flash forward from Quas, and that is not where you want to be. Oh. Oh, what a that was such, that's such a well played 2v2, but now there's action in the top lane. I don't see it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> All right, it's gone. It's gone. It, it, I showed it, up it, here, and there, there ain't anything. Real quick. Yep. <laughs> Yo, Shelly's getting in on this fight, trying to get out of her cage. Yeah, that that, that, that was such a well played two v two fight in the bot lane, though, by uh, yeah, Tucker I mean, and MKD. Was, uh, also well played by Quas. He tried to get in there and pull it off, but uh, yeah, both summoners burned on the side of Quas for that one. Yep. Now we have a 2v2 for the Swift Herald. Sneezy Boy and Toxic Vezin are here. Mouse Mazing's in the pick. Gets a knock up on Toxic, but
but good amount CZ coming out. It's an easy boy destroying the Yasuo. And now Hatsu 5 is trying to fight it. Toxic Vezin really low, but ends up going down. Hatsu 5 is walking through the wall, but Lissandra is going to be there soon enough. Heydu 5 shows up to save Hatsu 5, and it looks like they're able to finish Shelly, but can they grab the eye before they die? Doesn't look like it. Heydu 5 is going to be going down as well, and it's an easy boy just doing so much work on this Vi right now. Yeah, they, they, they do manage to, at the very least, keep the uh, keep keep the Rift Herald away from Merc Wolves. But yeah, that that is a that is a bummer not being able to pick up that eye. Rip. But it's a denial. It helps. Anything helps. Yep. Oh. But yeah, most amazing. Uh, definitely showing that he's still a squishy Yasuo at the moment. Hasn't built any of the the damage right now, or uh, any tank stats right now, but. Later, he may end up getting hysterics. Who knows? Time will tell. Might opt for the, uh... Yep. Ooh, whatever, it's Phantom Dancer. Yeah, there it is. Phantom Dancer? Yeah, yep. maybe. But one thing that's absolutely crazy to me is Toxic Vezin currently has a 44 CS lead over this Malphite. He's absolutely destroying this lane. Yeah. And Malphite's trying to roam and make plays, but he's getting nothing off of them, which just allows Toxic Vezin so much free time to farm and push into the turret. Yeah, yeah. It, and, and another thing to point out is, it, is it, that it's not just the CS, it's all it, Toxic Vezin also has a full two levels on this Malphite because he's just been in lane so much more often. And yeah, like it, it's 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 gonna be very tough for uh, for Hey Dude to really do much right. in that in that one v one anymore. Yeah, but good news for Sentinels, they are able to pick up the Ocean Drake with Hey Dude 5 walking down there. Yep. So they get that regeneration, which is going to be huge for Ezreal's mana bar and Malphite's health bar. But we have a gank come down the bot lane. Tucker's just absolutely caught out by all the CC. Quaz putting on good ultimates. Sneezy Boy's there just cleaning up kills. And actually, Timberland gets both of those. Bloodthirsty <laughs> support. Yeah, Brom, Brom, Brom's going to carry this one, guys. And they're looking to... And now this is just going to be bot turret going down yeah, as well. Yeah, Wolf's looking a lot cleaner in this game too. Not kind of giving over some of those bad team fights that they took uh, in the first game. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I, I mean, that, that was just some really good timing on, uh, on Sneezy Boy's part for that bot lane. Because, like... Oh, no, there's, there's a <laughs> little bit of fight in the mid lane. Good cleanse, but Mouse Amazing just doesn't have enough health to survive Shadow Vault's damage. Now Hey yeah. Dude 5 was also just gonna go down to that. Oh, and now Tucker's just gonna go down to it as well. He's able to Kane. flash out. Yeah, Kane's here though. Yeah, how to fight. As I was here. talking about how they aren't getting these uh, team fights to get back into this game, lo and behold, Sentinels find an opening. Yep, yeah, and, all, and all of a sudden Tucker's looking an awful lot like he uh, he did last game. He's he's got he's got two more kills now. Uh, I, I believe at least one of those was a shutdown. I think both of them were. Yeah, pretty big bounties too. So yep. this Ezreal's is, this gonna, is gonna get pretty big <laughs> for yeah, right for now, a Sentinels fans Tucker out there. Is sitting up almost two k over uh, over Quas right now. Most gold on the team. Yep. We see a, sh a teleport coming out from Shadow of Old to protect his mid lane turret. A little upset about that last death. <laughs> he wants to get some more farm so he can blow people up faster. Yeah. And he's walking into a lot of vision, so the entire team from Sentinel should know where he is. And Tucker's just going to try to get some free poke out, stacking up those Kleptus stacks. Yep. Yep, it's, making the money, just, not just getting more gold. Him. Yep, that's what it's all about. Engage coming out, good arrow, and oh my god, Mouse Amazing just the Mouse gets is popped. gone. The mouse yeah. has popped, he got caught in a trap. Uh... Looking yeah. like my solo queue, Yasuo's. Yep, my team Yasuo's, <laughs> it's the other team Yasuo. Hopefully Mouse Amazing isn't flaming as hard as my Yasuo's no. usually do. But it looks like uh, Merc Wolves are able to just uh, push down this mid lane turret with that. But it, they're trying to go for an engage right here, getting onto 
Tucker. But now Vice is in a bad spot under the turret. He's going to go down. And then the rest of Sentinels are able to hold off the three-man squad. Quaz taking so many turret shots and is almost dead. Ezreal is up in like five seconds, but the Braum is standing right in front just to protect Quaz. Yeah, the, 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 that was just a situation where Sneezy Boy uh, pr probably overestimated his damage a little bit, going going very hard to try to try to kill Tucker. He, he, he saw an opportunity, and uh, the the heal and the the heal from Tucker and the uh, the peel from MK Heat ends up being able to get Tucker that kill. Yep, but kind of pushing for the objective and having to back away. Merc Wolves are delayed in their. Uh, Oh, they're they're looking they're looking good right now though. Whatever they're trying to do. Yep. Yeah, I mean, th th there were some pings coming out earlier uh, for the for the dragon that's going to be up in 40 seconds. Uh, I imagine both teams are going to start looking for that now. Yeah, it's another ocean drake. So, I mean, both teams really want this one, but it's not as impactful as a mountain or infernal would be. I don't think Sentinels should try to fight for this. You don't have that Infinity Edge finished on the Oswo, so you're not really going to win this um, team fight. You guys, oh, here we go. Team fight impending. Think about it. Think about it. If you guys just want to take a quick. Oh. I mean, Toxic Vezin isn't here, so they have to try something. Teleport oh, comes in. in. Ash Arrow out onto Malphite. Malphite goes into on the Ash. There's no follow up. A split fight we have going on here. The Malphite is just going to go down. Quaz ends up picking that one up. Lissandra's in the middle of the team, and Mouse Amazing's able to pick that up as well. And now Toxic Pheasant's going to go down. But Vi just re engages, is able to kill the Nautilus. Mouse Amazing has a good tornado to disengage. And Tucker is able to eat away, but that is a three for two team fight in favor of Merc Wolves. Yeah, look, he's. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, considering how split up that fight was, I, I'm surprised it didn't go worse for Sentinels there. Um, they, like, the, the Merkwolves just did a great job of, of keeping keep, keeping uh, keeping the team just so split up. And it was, yeah, it was, it was a tough fight. Do what he can, uh, just doing a big counter jungling. Just trying to get to that point where he becomes an unstoppable force. Yeah, and he has uh, 2k gold in his pockets right now. So he only needs like 300 more, I think, for Infinity Edge. So almost there. He should be there in time for the Baron fight, which should be happening. Right. I really hope that he kind of starts going for some more tank after that, maybe going for Lifesteal. Just something to help survive against this burst that Shadow of Old and Sneezy Boy can kind of put out. I mean, who needs yeah, to survive go. if you just kill them first? Make sure they don't exist. Uh, Tucker's trying to get some good damage on the Shadow of Old. Having to burn Flash. I don't know if that's what he wanted. Oh, no. Yep, Tucker There's goes down. Donating over some gold, but that's going to be a good Malphite onto Qua. It's going to take him down. MK, he's going to pop the Death Charge onto Sneezy Boy, and that's going to take him down as well. And this is looking like maybe a Sentinel's Baron if they want it. Yeah, and the only two members left alive are the Lissandra, who doesn't have teleport, and Timberland. But it looks like the call is just go for this mid lane turret. They don't have the AD carry. Yeah, it, so, it, it, it's, it's definitely going to be a little tough for them to, to take that Baron very fast. Just just w with the with the people that they still have alive. So they're, they're, they're going for the safer route. They're just going to just gonna take the outer mid lane turret um, and kind of just prepare for the next fight. Yep, Mouse Amazing is going to probably get a chance to back and pick up that Infinity Edge, as you were talking about before. Yeah, once again, we have 29 kills in 23 minutes, so uh, over one kill per He's... minute, so pretty good so far. But we need a lot more kills yeah. to get the same level as last game. But yeah. still, so far, a bloody game. Back pings toward Tucker. Tell him to get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah, this bot lane turret for Merkwolves is super low. And it would be really nice if Mer or Sentinels were able to go clean that up. But they just haven't had enough pressure to be able to 
get a mini wave into it to shove it down. If you're a Merc Wolf Sans, you really have to watch Quaz's positioning here because a couple of the past two team fights, he's been caught out by the Malphite pretty much solo, and uh, he needs to step really far back if he wants to live. Yeah, and right now, kind of. I don't know. There's a ton of vision on the side of Merc Wolves on this Baron. They have this pretty much choked out, and it's pretty hard for uh, the Sentinels team to kind of get in there to get it back. The yeah, Sandra's because... TP up, but she isn't here for this fight. 85 is looking for an right, engage. Dave, the Sandra's has so many good flank wars to teleport to. This could be a really scary team fight. Yeah, but Sentinels just make the call to shut down this turret. And Tucker with the W and the auto attacks. Oh my god, really good ultimate from the Malphite. Catches oh, that wow. quasi, super low. Ezreal's able to pick that one up. And a huge team fight coming out with Sandra in the middle of the team. And there's uh, two kills on the side of Sentinels. But Shadow Vol just gets almost bursted. MK Heat goes down. But now you have Hot Soup 5 in the middle of the team. Sneezy Boy is super low. Tucker is able to clean up that kill. And now you just have Shadow of Old by himself against Tucker. And Tucker just oh goes God. in EQ and destroys him. That yeah, is a that's clean good. ace for Sentinels. They're going to be able to pick up this inhibitor as well. Man, the, the, just then the positioning for Tucker, literally that entire fight was just so smart. He was able to keep keep like just far enough out and keep, keep firing Qs into the fight. Um, yeah, and, and wow, that, 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 that was just really yeah, impressive. Shadow showing. showed up a little bit too late with that teleport and going for the frozen tomb on himself. He really only ended up, I think, hitting Tucker with it and just not kind of pulling the focus that you really want to as Lissandra. And the rest of it. Right. And now we're getting to the point where the Malpha Yasuo combo is going to be so huge. So, I mean, you saw in the last fight, he was able to get onto Quaz and. I think it was Timberland, which yep. I mean, you want to get Quaz if anything. So they were able to do so much of his health and Quaz had to pretty much kite to the opposite side of the fight where Ezreal was just sitting there waiting for him and he could cue him and kill him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you were, you were talking earlier about, about Quaz's uh, positioning and like getting hit by Malphite ults, but he was so far back that he was able to, the, the, the flash Malphite ult is just so hard to like not get hit by. Right, but I mean, the entire team can't be that far up yep. when you know your Lissandra is being uh, split pushing, right? Like, yep. you're never going to win a 4v5 against them, so you shouldn't put yourself in a position to beat or to let them take right. that fight and I think against that you. In that case, like having the Lissandra, you want to be the one pulling the trigger first. Um, like, getting those teleport flanks is so much better than just having to, like, reactively go and help your team. Right, but I think the thing was, he was looking for that turret, right? They weren't looking to try to fight. So the rest of the four-man squad just right. shouldn't have put themselves in that spot. Uh, this Air Drake is going to probably go over to the side of Sentinels. Uh, the rest of the team doing some zoning while Mr. Mouse Mazing himself tries to uh, take that one out. They got to be careful there. Toxic is split from the team. So if Hey 5 wants to go in with an ultimate... But Ash does have a lot of slows, so they're unable to catch up. But now they're just marching towards Baron to clean up all this vision. Oh no, and right now Quas has to burn Flash, just caught out of position again. Sneezy Boy is going on to cut Tucker, seeing a chance. And there Shadow of Old is on the flank, uh, going golden right now. And Mouse Mazing ulting to the back line. Gonna try and get some damage on a Timberland. Um, gonna miss the Q right there, but Toxic Mazing is gonna go down. And that is gonna be a 3 for one Three for one right there on the side of uh, Sentinels. Oh, what a hook. Oh, just it, barely it, it might caught be more than that. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they, they are going to be able to take down Timberland in the top. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I didn't, didn't make myself look too stupid. Uh, they, they are able to take down Timberland as well, so that is a four for one uh, in the favor of, of Sentinels. And Shadow Bold going against Hot Soup right now. Doesn't look like he has the damage, but Hot Soup is able to do so much back. Both of them are pretty low, but Hot Soup has his team right behind him if they want to try, or if Shadow tries anything. But Baron is just going to be able to go down. 
And Sentinel's Whoa, able to pick that one up. So uh, the gold is now in Sentinel's favor. It took a little while, uh, but they pulled it off and are able to walk away with this Baron buff and that huge team fight. This is looking pretty good for them. Um, Yasuo just finishing his Bloodthirster. He... Yeah, and I guess that's the tankiest item this Yasuo is going to be going for. Getting that extra shield and health. Uh, right. Sorry, I mean, life steal. I don't steal. know if Lissandra's at the point where she can just one-shot the Yasuo. Um, if he has shield, I don't know if that's possible yet. But it doesn't seem like he's getting shot up. He even has the chance to kind of nuke anybody. I mean, he cleaned up Tucker in that last fight with the ultimate. But the unfortunate thing is... Mouse Mazing was able to combo with Hated 5 onto Quaz once again. And I mean, it's just really hard for this Ash to survive that ultimate combo. And with this Baron buff, the Sentinels are just shoving down the ball lane, taking up the inner turret, and have one cannon, almost two cannons now, onto this inhibitor turret. And they have supers in the mid lane that are just going to shove in as well. So it's most likely just gonna go down. Toxic taking a lot of poke, but they do oh, get the yeah. Ash Arrow onto the Ezreal. Lissandra rolls down and there's Tucker, but we have Malphite going in and oh my God, Sentinels are just absolutely dying right now. <laughs> Merkwell was able to clean up this fight so hard. The GA is popped from Hot Suit 5, but he's not going anywhere. Yeah, that, Actually that, that, gets the turret. That, that was a fantastic arrow. From, from Quaz H there, managing to catch out Tucker right as he was in front of his team. And they were able to just take him down. And, and, and you, you see the difference of, of, of a fight where uh, Sentinels has Tucker at the beginning of the fight and when they don't. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a huge Benson fight. versus Tower and he's gonna be able to take it down. Yeah, he immediately TPs after that fight is over just for the pushing mini wave. And that is absolutely huge for Merc Wolves. Able to actually claw back that gold lead Sentinels was picking up. And now we're pretty much even. And once again, a lot of kills going over. We have 47 kills in 31 minutes. 1.5 right now, so almost yeah, at that 2 uh, Definitely some Fiesta-like games out here today. Um, <laughs> yep, a little bit of tennis. That's, that's uh, what you like to say. Goes over the net, back over to Sentinel, uh, and then goes straight back over to Merc Wolves. Yep, and and the ball is in uh, the balls in Sentinel's court. We're gonna see we're gonna see what they decide to do with it. Yeah, Infernal Drake actually spawning in 45 seconds, so that's most likely where the next fight is gonna be coming out of. And both inhibitors are up for the side of Merkwell, so they're free to step out their base. But it looks like they're trying to go for a pick on the wrong side of the map. 30 seconds to get over and try to clear out vision for the Infernal Drake. We see Heydu5 sitting on a pink ward with the rest of his team. Oh, looking for oh, the they're, they're to push of death here. That's so much poke coming out from the Ezreal, but it's not the right target. Heydu5 smartly holding onto that ultimate, knowing he has to get onto that Ash. The Shadow of Old walking forward. Tucker doesn't get caught out, has to E away. And now uh, Merc Wolves have pushed priority in the mid lane. And it looks like Mouse Mazing is just going to go on to Shadow of Old. Cleanses out of the ultimate, but he just gets absolutely deleted. Now Toxic Vezin is zoning out uh, Tucker. So this is going to be a really good fight for Sentinel. Or for, sorry, for Merc Wolves. Oh. And Toxic's able to pick up the Ezreal. Kane ends up picking the. the uh, Renekton, but that doesn't really matter. The fight's already over. Hatsu 5 has to flash over the wall, tries to get away, and Merc Wolves are able to pick oh. up another clean fight. Getting Toxic Vezin the picked true up carry of the they, team. Like, oh my god. He used the Q over the wall, and it just yeah. it happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a 1v1 between uh, Toxic Vezin and, 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 and Tucker on the, on the bottom side of the fight, and, and like Toxic Vezin was very clearly winning it. T Tucker ends up eating over the wall into the Dragon Pit uh, and then tries to get the kill onto Toxic from over the wall, but Toxic's Q ends up hitting Tucker over the wall and taking him down, and then uh, <laughs> it was wild. That's amazing. But yeah, so 
the ability to catch out Mouse Mazing was huge. He does have that Sterics completed now. Or, sorry, the Germ's Fist completed. So he's going to build up some of that health to help him survive a little more. But Sneezy Boy and Shadow of Hold were just able to absolutely destroy him in that team fight. Yeah, I think Mouse yep. Mazing was kind of overestimating how much burst he could really take. Um, he popped the cleanse there once the Frozen Tomb was on him. However, it just wasn't enough to deal with that burst. Yeah. And we talked about in Champ Select, right? Like, the side from Merc Wolves are really looking for these 2v2, 3v3 skirmishes where the fight is extremely split up. The side of Sentinels is just looking for a straight up 5v5 in an open area. So the Malphite can just absolutely ult onto four or five oh, members. Oh, they're trying this Death Push stuff again. They just don't seem willing to pull the trigger ever. It, yeah. I, I, I mean, like, it, it, it's really smart from a. Uh... Oh, hey, dudes. Might yeah. be caught out here. Vi goes in onto him, gets a stun off from the Braum passive. Ash gets ulted up again, claws in the back line, able to flash deal away. Mouse Amazing is going to be going down in the middle of the team fight. Tucker is on the back line, though. He's getting pushed away from CZ. Hot 2 5 goes in, is not able to clean up Quaz or Timberland. And now Tucker is all by himself, able to put out a little bit of poke, but is not doing anything. Oh my god, never mind. He almost <laughs> He's doing something. <laughs> He's doing something, but it's not enough. Quaz is in the mid lane, shoving down that mid lane turret. And that was a huge team fight victory for Murkwolves once again. That was huge. Yeah, Shadow Bolt doing an amazing job. Looking great with that 12, 4, and 11 score line on Lissandra. Um, they were, yeah, they were just able to, like, um, that was a very split up fight. Mouse Amazing able to get on the Quas, but a really good flash by Quas to be able to get out of that. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the fact that, that they burned the uh, the, the Malphite ult and the Asu ult and weren't able to get the kill on to uh, Quaz ended up making that fight a lot more difficult for them. And then the fact that Tucker was just zoned out for the whole time, wasn't actually able to put damage on while the CC was coming out, meant that, yeah, they, they, they just weren't able to, to bring the damage out when they needed to. Yeah, and Tucker actually went to clear the mid lane wave, took the Blast Cone away when that fight started, so... Oh, sure. They just got caught out when he wasn't in position to actually do any damage. Mm -hmm. But this game is still going. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, all Sentinels really needs is, 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 is a fight where uh, where Tucker is able to, to lay down damage right, the whole like time, gold and, and they're right back into this. Factor now. Uh, yeah. And honestly, the last fight, Quaz was only able to actually survive due to the flash heal. If he didn't yep. have those summoner spells, he would have been dead. Yep. Which, next fight, <laughs> he doesn't have either of them right now. So exactly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Mouse Amazing! Don't get caught out right here. Oh. <laughs> I was scared for you. <laughs> oh, that 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 would have been a disappointing uh way to. Yep. Way to go. Right now, uh, Merc Wolves are preparing for their five man assault on this tower. Baron buff minions is going to kind of wait this one out. Hoping that uh, Sentinels kind of get caught out again. Oh, Mouse Amazing ults onto the buy, but it's not the target you want. Has a good wind wall, block the Ash ult. Kane is on Ash, but Stopwatch is able to pick him up. Shadow Vold kills Mouse Amazing. A lot of GA is being popped in this fight, and Merc Wolves haven't lost a member yet and just absolutely destroying this one. Tucker is on the back line, not able to do anything. Putting out poke, but his entire team is losing. Meanwhile, Super Minion shoving in the mid lane. Toxic Vesna just teleporting into it, taking down the towers. Why not at this point? Sneezy Boy goes in with a flash cube, able to pick up Tucker. And that is Merc Wolves taking the game over Sentinels. 37 Ooh. kills to 23. That was a, that was a lengthy one. Wow. Two, two, uh... Yeah, those yep. are some wild, wild games. Yeah, it, uh, honestly, like, to Toxic Vezin was playing those playing those late fights so well, just keeping Tucker away from his entire team and just preventing him from doing enough damage. Like, he's just able to zone him off for almost all of those late game fights. And yeah, that was just really yeah, well played. That was uh, definitely a showing. Uh, Shadow of Old was a monster that game. 15-4-12 uh, and 12 on the Lissandra. Looking super good. Um, but yeah, who do you want to hear from... Uh, on the side of uh, Merc Wolves. I, I kind of want to hear from uh, Shadow of Old, if that's okay. Yeah, um, 
those score lines in the, both of those games are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And then other than that, I think either Sneezy Boy or uh, Toxic Vezin, I'd love to hear from right. as well. Uh, we will have to swap over to Discord for this because we are not in Discord. Okay. And uh, if someone wants to go grab them, then we can go uh, do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Uh, it's been an awesome set of games so far. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, we're going to get some interviews quickly and then move on to our 6 o'clock game. Who we got? Who we getting? Sneezy Boy or uh, Toxic? Let's get Toxic. I yeah, just asked both him. of them, and neither of them responded yeah. so far. Uh, Actually, yeah, we don't yeah. need to be quiet <laughs> here. Drag him. No. Yeah, no longer being played. All right, cool. What's up? You got dragged into the interview. What's up, guys? Let's go. What, what is shit? up? Oh, congratulations <laughs> on the 2-0. Happy St. Patrick's Day also. Yep, the most important day of the year. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. So let's talk about the preparation going into this matchup. Um, Shadow Bowl, we knew that Mouse Amazing was going to be kind of like the focal point for the Sentinels uh, drafts. What was the thought process behind the Galio and Liss? Well, if he's their best player and he never gets to play the game, then we stand a pretty good chance of winning. So... I just picked a lot of CC with some damage, played around with the jungler, and made sure he was always yeah. behind. I mean, like, I don't know. In that first game, uh, Hatsu5 was just so far behind of uh, Sneezy Boy. Sneezy Boy looking really good with the Talia jungle and just, like, outpaced him um, just around the map completely. But you also smashed yeah, for too. Sure. I mean, you, you smashed got, that what, game. a solo kill twice? Two solo kill kills in that mid lane uh, on the Galio? Mm. Yeah. I, it's too many to count, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, got so many fingers um, on his hands. But yeah, guys. I mean, like, you looked really good. You definitely didn't choke. You talked a big game this week on State of the League, uh, saying that you were probably like the top two, top three mid laners. You definitely looked like it. Um, but Toxic, you also looked really good on that Croc uh, up in the top lane, picking Renekton in both games. Um, how did that? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Thanks, man. Um, but how did what was the difference between those two games for you? Uh, how did those both feel? Because I mean, game two looked really dominant. Uh, well, for the most part, it's my own preparation um, in terms of not always relying on my team more than trying to win lane for myself. Um, but if I can avoid that first gank. Uh, cause the first game Rek'Sai came top and just kind of set me off for the rest of the game. Um, cause he helped, uh, Hey Dude 5 get ahead a little bit. Uh, so this game kind of just avoiding that and, uh, making sure that I just stayed ahead, uh, in terms of farm. But also, Renekton kind of bullies Malphite in lane and knew that they were going to use Malphite later on for his ults. So if I could just, like, wean him away yeah, i mean it definitely uh, that worked would be out the uh you had the shove on that malphite for pretty much the entire game um and just accrued a huge lead over him um and at some point just kind of like end up smacking him around with your wallet yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it, I, I definitely respect the ults uh last year my team had me play malphite most of the season uh so i understand the yeah. real power of um, the malphite ults but uh, I understand he can be yeah. bullied in lane. Well, it looks so. really good. Um, congratulations on the 2-0. Any, uh, any other words you want to throw out there? Yeah, actually, in game two, when you started getting behind the Sentinels, uh, there were a couple of team fights where I think Shadow of Old, you were like in the bot lane or top lane trying to split push where your team got ulted on. How'd you fix your communication to come back and start winning these fights? Um, we... We weren't exactly sure how we wanted to play out the fights. Um, and we were just trying a, little, a few different things that uh, made us lose the game. And then we figured if 
we just disjoint the alt combos. We um, when Malphite goes in, we get an alt onto Yasuo. Um, we interrupt the Yasuo. I mean, the Malphite engage all together. Anything like that, and we're gonna win because they just don't have as much damage as us. So as long as they don't one dig us, there's no way we can lose the fight. And once we started doing that, we didn't lose the fight. We so, waited for things like uh, the wind wall to go down before we yeah. went engaging. We just we 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 figure out how to actually play. Just took us a few tries against the. All right, I mean, it honestly actually kind of showed. If you look at the gold graph in the game, you can probably graph it to how well you actually did in those fights. So yeah, uh, that'd be kind of cool to look at in a review. Cool. Well, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Parker head, right? had like his pop off <laughs> moments, and then uh, he also had those moments where he got popped. So. Good on you guys for being able to catch him out uh, when he's mispositioned. Yep. Um, some really good ults by Quas there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Quas. And, and, and I, was, I was just want to give give some ex, extra props out to uh, Toxic Vezin. Uh, you, you did an awesome job in those uh, in those game two fights of just making sure that that uh, Tucker wasn't able to do any damage to your team. You're just zoning him out so well. Thank you. Yeah. No. He he absolutely would destroy us when he got free. Uh, yep. so make sure you know, can't free Tucker. Stay away. Lock him down, baby. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, with that, uh, we are going to send it over to the 6 o'clock game, which has the three of us duking it out. Um, may the better team win. Good luck, boys. Yeah. Jeez, good luck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, should be should be an exciting match. And uh, if you want to see if you want to see Enraged Over get uh, get put in his place I in mean, top lane, you know, just, just, just stay tuned. Can, so uh, we'll uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> and all right. On that note, goodbye. Peace out. <laughs> uh, all right, and we will be back shortly. All right.